T2 high and T2 low are the two asthma endotypes that are the most well recognized. T2 high asthma typically responds well to corticosteroid therapy and has an immunological response primarily involved in T helper type 2 related cytokines. Neutrophilic airway inflammation is a hallmark of T2 low asthma, which frequently exhibits an immunological response involving interleukin 17 and Th17 cells. Although the underlying processes are uncertain, exposure to high levels of ozone is known to increase glucocorticoid insensitivity in the management of asthma. Researchers investigated the processes driving corticosteroid resistance in asthma in a study that was published in the Frontiers in Molecular Biosciences. Two asthma models were created in mice by the researchers. A T2 high asthma model created by ovalbumin or OVA sensitization and challenge and a T2 low asthma model created by OVA sensitization and challenge combined with ozone exposure. The study's findings showed that the OVA and ozone group had higher expression levels of cytokines associated with Th17, GR protein, and CXCL1. Interleukin-6 and STAT3 were shown to be positively correlated, while SOCS3 and STAT3 were found to be negatively correlated. The following correlation suggested to researchers that the interleukin-6 STAT3 pathway may be involved in OVA and ozone-induced corticosteroid-resistant inflammation. Antigen's mouse interleukin-6 ELISA kit was used in the study to measure levels of inflammation in the mice asthma models. Antigen was willing to provide hundreds of high-quality antibodies and ELISA kits to support continuous advancements in biomedical research. For more information, please visit Antigen's website at www.antigen.ca.